Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Dania and today's topic focuses on one particular proposition which is called against. So we will start with the meaning, like what is actually the meaning of against? This is number one. Number two, how to use this proposition in sentences? So I will be explaining that with plenty of examples, with explanations to help you understand this preposition quite well. Right? So let's start. So let's look at the first part of this video, which is when to use against. You need to use this proposition to speak about physical contact. This is number one. Number two, comparison. Like when you need to compare between two things, we can use against. And then when it comes to expressing disagreements. Sounds confusing? Let's have a look at the following examples to understand the usage of this particular proposition quite well. Let's start with the first function, which is physical contact. What is the meaning of physical contact? Let's have a look at this example. The car crashed against the wall. The car crashed against the wall. So what are we speaking about? We are speaking about the car and the wall. So in this case, the meaning of the sentence indicates physical contact between the car and the wall, which means when the accident happened, the car touched the wall and this is what we mean by the physical contact like two things contacted with each other physical contact doesn't mean between people it can be between things as well so when two things are contacted in this case we can use against so it means physical contact let's have a look at another example she leaned against the door. What does that mean? We are speaking about physical contact between her body and the door, like between she as a person and the door. So in this case, we can use against because that um, she was kind of like standing against the door. That means the door was supporting her like from falling, something like that. So in this case, when it comes to talking about physical contact, we can use against. Another example. She pressed her hand against the window. Why? To see outside. So it seems that it was difficult for her to open the window and so she had to use her hand, like she had to push the window using her hands. And that is why we are speaking about the physical contact that happened between her hand and the window. She pressed her hand against the window. So instead of saying uh, she used her hand to push the window, you can simply use the preposition against by saying she pressed her hand against the window, something like that. Let's have a look at another one. He rested his head against her shoulder. So what are we speaking about? We are speaking about the physical contact that happened between his head and her shoulder. Why? Because probably he is seeking some support on her shoulder. You know that feeling when maybe some disappointments happen in your life and you really need some and you really need other people's support? So in this case you can use against like when you put your head against their shoulder seeking some support like maybe expecting them to tell you that everything will be okay and not to worry and stuff like that in this situation we can use against but when you are simply looking for some comfort like maybe everything was okay on your day but you just um you just feel a bit tired and you simply rest your head on other people's shoulder looking maybe for some rest just rest 
So this is basically the difference between using against and on. It depends on the situation that we experience. If we are experiencing some disappointments and we need support, use against. Otherwise, use on. Okay. Now, let's move into the second usage or the second function of against, which is comparison. You can use against to compare between things. So instead of using the word compare in your sentence, you can use against. How? Let's have a look at the following examples. Number one, I did better against my last year's performance. I did better against. What does that mean? I'm comparing my current performance to last year. So instead of saying, I did better compared to my last year's performance, I can simply use against. I did better against. So in this case, we are comparing uh, the performance of this year to last year, things like that. Let's have a look at another example. His speed was slow against the fastest runners. So what are we talking about? We are basically comparing his speed to the other runners, to the fastest runners. So instead of saying his speed was slow compared to the fastest runners, we can simply use against. Was slow against the fastest runners. Another example. Her artwork is exceptional against her previous pieces. So this sentence uh, describes her effort for this year compared to last year using against. And as I mentioned, instead of saying her artwork is exceptional compared to her previous pieces, you can simply use against, against her previous pieces. So this is how you can use against to compare between things. If you have questions regarding the use of this particular part, please let me know in the comments below. So for now, let's move into the last part of today's topic, which is disagreement, like expressing disagreements using against. So I will show you how to say no using against. Let's have a look at the following sentences. They fought against the new rule. They fought. Fought here is the past tense of fight. So what does that mean? Basically, they are not supporting and accepting the new rule and that is why they fought against the new rule to show their disagreement with the new rule. Some, uh, something like that. Another example. She spoke against the idea she spoke against that means she is not basically accepting the idea and so she decided to voice her opinion to say that she doesn't agree with the idea and in this case we used against she spoke against they voted against the new law during the election they voted against meaning that they are not basically accepting and so they decided to vote against to express their opinion they don't actually agree with the uh, with the new law and uh, probably they need some changes things like that so this is how you can use against to speak about disagreements like to speak about Exp uh, to express disagreements so you so when you don't agree with something you can say i am speaking against this or maybe i am doing this action to express my disagreement against something things like that but for now i need to show you some sentences where the sentence is the same but the meaning is a little bit different let's have a look she stood against him in the debate. She stood against him in the debate. And the second one, she stood against him leaning on his shoulder. 
Do you see the difference between the two? Like the beginning of both of these sentences is the same. It's like the first sentence starts with she stood against him and also the second sentence starts with she stood against him. But what is the difference? The difference is the final part of the sentence. If you look at the first one, she stood against him in the debate. In the debate meaning that they were basically competing against each other in the debate and so she stood against him by expressing her, her opinion. Debate were two groups or two people speak against each other. It is like each one of them has his or her own opinion and so they will be like be trying so hard to compete against each other's opinions. This is the meaning of a debate. As you see on the picture where groups of people speaking against each other trying so hard to compete with their idea. So this is the meaning of debate. All right. So back to the example, you can use against to express disagreements like she stood against him in the debate. But if you look at the second example, the second example shows support. She stood against him leaning on his shoulder. That means possibly seeking comfort or support from him. So this is how careful you need to be when it comes to the use of against in sentences. You need to complete the meaning. You can't simply say she stood against him. You need to have more information like she stood against him. Why? To compete or maybe uh, to seek some comfort. Why? Why did she stand against him? Things like that. Now let's have a look at another example to understand the idea much better. He stood against her in the final round of the tournament. And the second one, he stood against her offering his hand for support. The starting part of both of these sentences is the same. Both of these sentences start with he stood against her. But if you look at the first one, he stood against her in the final round of the tournament. That means we are speaking about a competition. But the second one, he stood against her offering his hand for support. That means he is ready to help, like maybe to help financially by giving money or maybe to help physically by maybe giving her a hug something like that. So that is why you need to be really careful with the use of against. Before ending today's English grammar video, I would like to, to have a quick summary of what we just spoke about so that everything will be remembered and easy for you to practice. So basically you need to use the preposition against to speak about physical contact, like when two things are connected and then you, can, you need to use it to speak about comparison. So when you need to compare between two things and expressing disagreements. So expressing disagreements when you need to say that you don't agree with something. All right. So yeah, this is basically everything that is related to the use of preposition against. I really hope today's preposition is easy for you to understand if not please let me know in the comments below like let me know your question so i will either respond immediately to them or i will create another video to answer your questions with more examples and explanations also if you find my explanation useful and easy for you to understand give it some like write to me some comments and also like um, share it among your friends and classmates. If you have other topics that you want me to focus on, please let me know in the comments below. So yeah, this is all. Thank you so much for joining today's English Propositions podcast. Wish you a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and join me the next time. Bye bye.